Yeah, I do. And don't forget to my channel as always. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Today we in a colonial zone. And I, this is how it looks right now. I'm in like, and um, I basically want to talk to you guys about how do you take a Uber from Central Domingo Airport and to your destination. Now people already know how to take it from their destination to the airport, but a lot of people don't know how to actually take it from the airport because if you guys don't know, a lot of taxi drivers, there's tons of taxi drivers there, but they're gonna recommend like, hey, don't take an Uber, it's not safe, they're gonna try to get over X, Y, and Z. Maybe because they wanna make their money, I'm not sure, but a lot of people, a lot of taxi drivers are going to try to deter you from taking Uber. If you mention, hey, no, I'm gonna do Uber, they're gonna to try to talk to you out of it. But to take Uber, what you do is once you finish customs and go outside, you open up your app and request a ride. They're going to direct you. The Uber is going to tell you to go to the second floor. The second floor is actually departure. So the people who actually be departing yeah. the Dominican Republic and going to where they're going, that's where you're going to catch it. So it's going to tell you to go to the second floor to departure. It's going to say go to gate one, gate two, go to gate three, or go to... Um, it even said go to a rival, but for some reason, it's still go to the second floor. Um, but yeah, that's it. You just go to the second floor at the departure, and the your driver's gonna be there. More likely, it's because they're gonna be dropping other people off. So when they drop somebody off to um, go to their flight, they can pick you up right there. And again, the the taxi is on the first floor, and but Uber's gonna tell you to go to the second floor. And I'm gonna show you guys um, in this clip how our uber look this is a traditional uber and like you see one uber you see them all in the uber cars and after we took the uber here oh i'll be telling you something before we took the uber we actually took our covid test i didn't really record i didn't record any of the get that covid test but i'll show you a clip of how the airport look and all right yo so now we're in santa domingo at the airport we just did our covid test they said it was just be done in 30 minutes we gotta get a COVID test to go into Colombia because Colombia said you could be vaccinated, but you gotta be vaccinated, like fully vaccinated within 14 days of traveling. And we just got our second shot, so we ain't getting the time. So, yeah. We about to grab some food. And then get the results. I'm gonna go down. And we just waited 30 minutes for that. We got there the same day because we actually need a COVID test to get to Colombia because they have a rule that you have to be fully vaccinated 14 days prior to your flight. And we just got fully vaccinated like a few days ago. So it didn't meet that 14 day mark. Maybe if we got it two weeks ago, we'd be good. We didn't have to take no test, but since we didn't meet that mark, we still had to get tested. So I'm gonna show you guys that and a little view of what our Airbnb looks like. And I forgot what we're doing today. If I'm gonna try to upload this like now. So if you were in Santa Domingo, I know somebody said it was in Santa Domingo East, but well, we're not too far from that. Um, yeah, the Colonial Zone is like right next to Santa Domingo East, so. I'm going to reach out to that person and see what they're doing. Maybe we can link up. But I'll tell you guys later. Bye, y'all. So this is the lobby of the place that we're in. And then this is like, I'm not sure, like, I guess common area. Here are the rooms. So it's multiple rooms on the first floor. And then rooms up here. They have a common kitchen area. And then me and Ava run was up the steps. And there's two rooms up here. So it's this room and then me and Ava room. Ava still sleep. But we got this standard um, bedroom, air conditioning, TV. And then this is the bedroom. It's not enough of a special design that we could sleep in. Mind you, this is, I found this on Airbnb. This is actually like a hotel, but I found it on Airbnb. And this was $25 a night. So basically, 
It's something like that, but it was $55 total. So $55 for two nights. And that's what's it. Hope you liked this video as always. I'll talk to you guys later.